everyone so long time no see i haven't had really anything interesting to post about until recently you know when you're starting out as a young lolita or beginner lolita because i guess not everyone starts out when they're young um you know there's always these this list of things that you want to check off on your lolita bucket list you know number one your first brand purchase to maybe shopping in person in a brand store for the first time Three, going to your first brand sponsored event. Four, hosting your own event. <laughs> Five, having a wardrobe that's too big you don't know what to do with. So I guess over the almost 20 years that I've been into Lolita, I've kind of checked off every single one of those. Um, so there isn't really many firsts or anything else like on my Lolita bucket list, except for one. And I guess that would be to create or commission your own original one-of-a-kind Lolita print. And today that's what this video is about. So the inspiration about it is kind of sad. As some people may know, I have had for the last 13 years um, a super wonderful kind of a brat basset hound as my best friend, Boomer. We adopted him from the Humane Society when he was maybe 9-10 months old. And last January, he celebrated his 14th birthday. However, in March of 2022, uh, unfortunately, he had just declined too much and we had to make the really difficult decision to have him pass on. And it was just, it was just a really hard process. Uh, there's also been a lot of stuff going on in my life over the past year and a half, um, but that was kind of, the start of the downfall for me. So I did a lot of not great healthy things um, when I was younger. You know, I, I dealt with bullying and emotional abuse and manipulation from friends and partners uh, at the end of high school and getting out of high school. Um, and so when we adopted Boomer, that kind of helped me snap myself out of things and I started to take care of myself because I thought that, you know, how can I take care of this adorable, perfect little puppy if I can't take care of myself? I give Boomer the credit for being a much healthier person um, today because of him and I learned love and self-worth because this adorable little puppy gave me so much love and at a time that I felt like I didn't deserve it. And now he's gone and that was really hard. Um, so I've, I've always been obsessed with like doggo prints and um, you know, I've always wanted like a basset hound print. I remember at one time, Juliet, Justine and Hainuli both uh, offered like a pet photo competition um, to submit photos of your pet and you could possibly win the honor of having your pet featured on one of their prints. And of course that never happened. Uh, so I decided, you know, after he passed away, you know, it was damn time that I was gonna take matters into my own hand. Um, I asked around, I did a little research and I was recommended uh, that I contact Kaya Kitty Kawai uh, to help me um, commission and design a print in his honor and it took a little over a year um, I know that they were also going through a lot of stuff at the time um, but eventually I was able to receive it in the mail last weekend <sighs> I guess now I finally have time to uh, unbox it and share it with everybody so the design process was pretty simple uh, to start off with. I chose something that they already had made um, and I just requested that they tweak it a little bit. They made the illustrations based on old photos that I had of Booms when he was alive and so it just turned out really cute. Um, and I also changed the color a little bit to match my aesthetic. And then on top of that I also paid extra money uh, to make it um, a me specific print. Um, normally if it was just like a, in general like a Basset Hound print or Doggo print or whatever I wouldn't mind if it was available for everyone um, to request because it's so personal to me. 
I didn't mind paying the extra amount of money to make sure that mine would be the only one of a kind print. Anyways, here it is. So yeah, um, it ended up being quite pricey, but like I said, it's something that I had been wanting to do for a very long time. And since I never unfortunately was able to get it done while he was alive, now that he's gone, I figured I had no other choice but to actually get it done. Oh, okay, all right, moment of truth. So I've seen the photos of it that uh, they sent me. Oh my gosh, probably gonna cry. I almost cried earlier. Oh, in the few minutes that I've spent doing this, all right. Uh, here it is. So I think this was, I think it's called Ferret and Teacup or something is what the print was kind of modified from. So instead of little ferret paw prints, these little doggo prints. Oh. And then there is this little hair clip. This is really cute. It has a little alligator clip on the back. Oh, this is so cute. So, oh, that's so cute. It's like a double ribbon at the bottom. That's really cool. Oh, this is so cute. The fabric is nice and soft. It feels like there's tool inside of um, the bow to help it keep its shape, which is super nifty. Oh, I'm already so excited. I haven't even, okay, I see it, I see it. Oh, all right. So, little. All right, so I, in the little envelope, I got a little sticker, super cute. Oh, and the little card is really cute too. So also, um, she said uh, she sent me uh, this little bag charm. <laughs> so cute. As like an apology for it taking so long. But honestly, I feel, um, as soon as I saw the photos of it done, I feel like it was definitely worth the wait. So he's a little sparkly um, in a teacup. I don't know whether he should live on my keys or live on my bag, but it's so cute. Oh, I just miss him so much, but this makes me really happy. And for the grand reveal, here he is. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So this one is from, um, maybe he was like a year old. This was from the first week that we got him. Um, and this was his last day on earth with me. The fabric is really nice and soft, uh, light uh, poly chiffon. I miss my bed so much. Wow. It's finally, it, my dreams finally came true. So in the back there's full shearing, which is awesome. And then these little translucent iridescent pearls on the back for the straps. Oh, these are so cute. I like how on the straps, uh, that the uh, <laughs> the paws are going up the straps. These are so cute. The top and bottom bows are both on little pins so they can be um, removed and placed elsewhere. <sighs> this is so cute. So I had a really tough decision um, to either choose like a gray black colorway or like a lavender. Um, which honestly, this is so cute. And I, and I told, uh, her before, um, I, th <laughs> I think that I'll probably at one point, um, come back and get 
get another one like a skirt or something in the lavender colorway because I couldn't decide on the two but I went with the black and gray because I figured it fit into my wardrobe better um and it would be easier for me to cord in a variety of ways because at least this way I gray is already an unusual color way that that I'm really obsessed with in Lolita um and then also because there's little white details I could easily pair this with black or white or whatever so I can make a variety of coordinates this is just so cool wow I'm just blown away and she even got these little spots on him so he was a purebred and unfortunately purebreds um, often get dumped at the pound because there is a defect and what we are assuming is his defect was that little spot on his booty um, you know kind of disrupts the pattern and um, yeah breeders unfortunately don't want to have dogs with uh, color imperfections um, I knew a guy years ago um, who had a chocolate lab who he got from the pound because he got dumped there which I guess is good because they said apparently that um, they were gonna just have him euthanized but for whatever reason they decided to not do that thank god and just send him to the pound instead um, because he had a single little white fleck on his chest and because he wasn't a perfect 100 percent brown color they didn't want him he doesn't meet the uh, breed standards so that's what we're assuming was wrong with boomer of course they needed to immediately make some coordinates with this dress it was a bit difficult because my wardrobe still split between two houses but I really like how they turned out regardless. Also on the screen on the right is some actual photos of Boomer that were used to make the illustrations in the print. Honestly, I couldn't be happier with the way that this turned out. It's definitely the perfect keepsake uh, to remember my special boy. Slobber ears? It was that bad last night. 